start my recording. Well, you mean in the recording, I'm not going to be able to see you not being able to figure out the ready up after not only. It can't be there. It, it can't be there. Erase the evidence. Content creators are out there in all sorts of forms, from YouTubers to Twitch streamers to even game developers and more. With so many content creators out there, it can be difficult to discover some new personalities to tune into. And so came the idea of Creators Collide, a series focusing on showcasing fellow creators out there and maybe learning something new about some of your favorite content creators along the way. Each episode focuses on a fellow content creator, their journey to get to where they are with their content today, and their sights on the future as we play games with or against them. Welcome to Creators Collide. But anyway, welcome, welcome to Creators Collide here. Hello. I hope you feel thoroughly welcomed. I need to remember how to play this game. My yeah. my Civ was very much off screen. <laughs> now we're good. So I just got new monitors, so it's running at a higher res than mm. I record in. Which is huge, because when I um, see. got this desktop, I actually started... The first year of development on Dark ED was on a laptop. Mm -hmm. And when I first got this desktop, it was right at the start of uh, COVID. And mm. everyone was transitioning to work from home, so they had the there was like one fucking monitor available. So I just had the the dinky uh, like worst possible. <laughs> found city, yes. Okay. We have founded Rome. It was <laughs> built in a single day. How do you manage that? You build dark deity in a single day? Very very carefully. <laughs> no, God no. <laughs> What do I you wish. need? <laughs> I wish. Oh, it took a, it took a very long time. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it's so funny. I got... Go mm -hmm. ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, starting things out here. Introduce yourself. Who are you? Pretend I don't know. So I <laughs> am Chip Moore. I am the game director for Sword and Axe, uh, which is the company that made Dark Deity. Uh, the company, I say the company, it's really just... <laughs> it's just... Dylan and I, for the most part. Uh, <laughs> so, Dylan and I, in 2018, we were both in college. Uh, I'm trying to multitask here and figure out which <laughs> tech I want. We're just going to go. A lot of these sessions questions. I've done so far, people have told me it's so hard to, like, think and speak I, I'm at hoping the same I'll time. have a little bit of a, a head start on that just because I've been streaming, so I'm sort of used to working and talking at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um,. On Dark Deity, just uh, talk a little bit more about who I am for context. Mm. Goddamn, there's barbarians coming at me. <laughs> Already? Have Get fun. Off. Oh, God. All right. That's 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 Civ. I, when I play this alone, I just turn barbarians off because I'm lazy. I don't want to <laughs> deal with them. Um, but so on Dark Deity, I okay. um, did all the programming, um, most of the game design, uh, like all the map designs. Uh, mm -hmm. assorted uh, up until we got uh, uh, sorry, choosing things here <laughs> up until we got into contact with the publisher Freedom that we worked with, uh, I did all the marketing, mm -hmm. all that sort of, I mean marketing is probably a little generous, but <laughs> um, <laughs> So how do you handle a lot of that, like Twitter, YouTube kind of Stuff. Yeah, so we we had the Twitter account. We actually don't really use our YouTube at all. <laughs> um, we definitely want that. Definitely want. Yeah, that. Um, we I actually have a fairly big TikTok account, which hmm. has accounted for actually kind of for a lot of our growth, uh, especially hmm. early on. But yeah, uh, outside of that, I'm, I'm I don't really have any credentials or anything interesting. I'm just the dude who made Dark Deity. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to show us your driver's license. I'm gonna need to see some ID here. Oh god, you, you should see it. It's pretty atrocious. <laughs> uh, there's an encampment right next to my city. One just spawned right next to. It, there was nothing there, and it just now spawned. Are you playing it? Are you Indonesia? I thought that was a barbarian. But that's no, I was uh, Scythia. Scythia. Okay. I can't pronounce right. things. I don't even know. Someone's chilling near me. I can't words. Wait. I just screwed up majorly. Oh, no! <laughs> what happened? I, uh... I might have gotten baited to, uh, send my slinger towards a barb camp and completely oh, no. forgotten the fact that I could have made it to a <laughs> tribal village with said slinger that turn. Um, 
That's that's GG. <laughs> Cause that's the game. That's tragic. Well, let's just get it a little bit late. Yeah, I'll be fine. Oh. Oh. Damn, this guy is right next to me. <laughs> Gotta remember is that oh that's that is an empire, that's not a not a city state. Hmm. Oop. And then do this. Okay. But yeah, tell us a, a bit about your game. What is that? Yeah, game? so uh Dark Dark Deity is it could be called many things. Uh <laughs> what a lot of people call it is uh a love letter to Fire Emblem. <laughs> It is a strategy RPG, unit-based, unit-based, turn-based strategy RPG, uh, mm. where you take control of an army of various anime characters, <laughs> anime-looking characters, uh, and do battle and level them up, and you know, experience story. I'm not, no, I'm not doing a <laughs> perfect job selling it here. So that's, not really why, that's not really why I'm here. Mm. Um, <laughs> You're here to get destroyed in Civ after all. I mean, uh... Honestly, yeah. I'm, I'm here to rekindle the Civ addiction. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Stalemate. Dude, can I, can I clear Wait. out this encampment? I'm gonna be very happy if I can. What am I doing? But yeah, so Dark, Dark DD, uh... was sort of a passion project. Uh, I was actually open i was actually in college getting an econ degree mm -hmm. on in math when we started working on it um it sort of came about via i would i know i've said this a million times on a million recordings but <laughs> this is this is really what happened is i just said you know i keep finding myself googling games like fire emblem and mm -hmm. i have never been as big of a fan as uh the isometric rpgs you know like a, mm -hmm. a disgaea or a final fantasy tactics and all those games that are uh in that not full-on top-down style but the, the the isometric angle i've never liked them mm -hmm. as much i'm not entirely sure why mm -hmm. um and it sort of felt like oh my god are those Barbarian horse archers for what? Wait, for what, what purpose? <laughs> what? Right. Oh, of course, of course, it wants me to settle on the barbarians that I haven't killed. <laughs> God damn it! Claim their lands for your own. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I know it's a little disjointed here, but that's sort of the <laughs> gist of, of Dark Deity is that it is a uh, it's a pixel art. Uh, strategy RPG mm -hmm. that inspired very heavily by Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. It was uh, I've always been interested in game development. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, interest is not the same as doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, there was, you know, I actually don't know if I've talked publicly about this, but uh, a couple mm -hmm. years prior, I I was uh, thinking about making a, a platformer a la Banjo Kazooie type. Um, hmm. And I did dive in a little bit to Unity at the time. Um, hmm. That was freshman year of college, and I just didn't have time and gave up on it relatively fast. Although it was fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it was uh, sort of the right combination of I had time and I had the motivation, the desire, mm -hmm. the motiv motivation. Yeah. Um, I need to build some. What was I in the middle of saying? Goodness. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> but I I think it was something along the lines of the next question that I'd have here anyway, which is essentially just like what inspired you to uh to create it in the first place. Yeah, um a good question. Um <laughs> I want to I want to give you a suitable answer and not just a throwaway because it is uh, sort of I I always uh, did enjoy creating isn't the right term because I wasn't always actually creating but I did always really enjoy um, at least being creative being creative uh, when I was really young um, I wanted to be an author mm. uh, 
that was my big drive and I was, you know, writing big air quotes, you know, novels when I was like 10, you know, they, they very much were not novels, but <laughs> they were novels to me. <laughs> <laughs> they were novels in spirit. Yeah, so it's definitely what world here. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do it, and then I'll just simply cry if someone else is building hanging gardens. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe y'all cry either way. Who knows? <laughs> get wild. But uh, yeah, so I, I wanted to be an author as a kid. So I, I definitely was interested early on in creating. Um, and I've played video games my whole life, mm -hmm. uh, significantly more than probably was a good idea at any given <laughs> time <laughs> by, by a large, large margin. Mm -hmm. Um, I wonder if that's a good spot for this city. I feel like it's not. And, uh, it sort of hit me at a, at a point in my life where I had, had a few internships in the field that I was getting my degree in. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was... was not extremely enamored with uh, <laughs> with how those were going. <laughs> and that field was? Uh, so economics, uh, I had some finance jobs. Mm -hmm. I worked, yeah, I worked in, not really as an accountant, but I worked in an accounting department mm -hmm. uh, in Buenos Aires, I just found. Um, at first, I thought you were saying that's where your uh, accounting department no, worked no, in no, was. No, I was like, in, whoa. In, in the Bay. <laughs> the Bay Area. Um, and then I worked as a like college financial intern rep. For, uh, that's a whole lot of mumbo jumbo. Basically, <laughs> uh, basically, I was an insurance salesman for a summer, hmm. uh, which was pretty big yikes. And <laughs> I hated it. I I. <laughs> I absolutely hated it so much. I really want to go build on this tile, but the second I do, they're going to beat my builder's cheeks, so I need to wait <laughs> my warrior to get over there. Um, didn't like the environment there a whole lot, or maybe dealing like the with the... I didn't like the work. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't as interested in the actual job, the applied job version of economics and as you know, I thought I was going to be. Um, mm -hmm. And so I was a, a little bit feeling, you know, like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm <laughs> just like training to not be happy. That's that's no good. <laughs> well, that's no good, Noah. Um, so it was for me starting work on Dark Deity. It started as a much, much smaller thing. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a last ditch, like, hey, you know, <laughs> I, I always was interested in game development, but I never really gave it gave a thought to doing it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to I'm just going to give it what I've got, give it a real go. Um, mm -hmm. And I essentially retreated into my room at <laughs> at home over winter break in 2018 college. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I didn't leave my room for like a week, pretty much, just to get, <laughs> I just to get food. Um, and I just taught myself to code, like mm -hmm. 16 hours a day, just sitting in my chair learning to code. Was there any yeah. main programming language that was in, primarily? So, um, it's called GML. Mm. Uh, it's a, so it's specific to Game Maker Studio, it's a C offshoot, mm -hmm. uh, that has just sort of a lot of built-in conveniences. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is it is pretty specific to <laughs> to making 2D games and not a whole lot else. Mm -hmm. um, do up here, skip turn. I already build. That's crazy. Oh, no. I swear, if this a uh, barb scout captures my settler, I'll lose <laughs> my mind. No, it's actually that's the most tragic thing that can happen <laughs> in this game. It's ruthless. Um, but yeah, I, I uh, sort of, and it's funny because there's actually code from that first week that still exists in Dark oh. Deity. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't, you know, there wasn't like a sample project. I, I did like the, the my first game, but that takes, mm -hmm. you know, like an hour. Um, mm -hmm. And then I just, I just dove straight into Dark Deity because I knew what I wanted to make. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, you know, in terms of being a, a, a bona fide professional game programmer, I, I've got a pretty narrow skill set of making specifically Dark Deity. <laughs> 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 I 
probably would be awful at making anything else. Um, <laughs> although I guess we'll see as we, you know, go on, move as, on. Yeah, as time goes on. Um, but yeah, it's it's. Uh, I should probably build a scout here at some point. Um, oh. Wait, what am I doing? I am. I don't know. Let's see here. <laughs> You're all good. Um, I can. I'll, I'll cover the silence with a uh, more more just epic stories of me in my room spending <laughs> 16 hours a day doing nothing. Uh, <laughs> it really, I mean, it was, uh, but I'm not, I'm not kidding. I like literally didn't leave my room for a week. I was just in there. I, it was, it was like the training montage from the movies. Is it bad? <laughs> it's like a rocky training sequence. It's, it, except yeah, it's being stuck it in a room. It sounds cool. It sounds cool to, to tell it back, but it very much was not. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's probably disgusting but it, it, it was not pretty in there um a lot of there's a war zone in there it was it was a war zone in there um but it but it paid off because uh i i've always learned i've never been great on the whole pure academic side of things i like to pick up stuff by doing it mm -hmm. figuring it out myself um yes i would love to build a campus right there uh where do I want to do a thing, though? I need to build another builder, don't I? Hmm. Let's see. Siv has really taken us out right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing all right, but it, in a way that has, like, the potential to go horribly wrong. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm just, my brain is really, really struggling to... <laughs> to think and think at the same time here <laughs> think and uh, think it's, it's <laughs> i'm not as not as quick as i used to be man <laughs> <laughs> what dark side of what game dev does to you man i to be entirely honest yeah <laughs> you, there's that's not the half of it it's it's uh it's kind of brutal Especially, and, and this, you know, I'll talk, I'll just be brief on this, but I do think it's probably interesting for a lot of people um, mm -hmm. that are interested in this sort of thing. Uh, I think I had this perception of game development when I was younger that it's just, okay, let's let's uh, make a cool game and then we'll make another cool game and move on mm -hmm. to the next project. But, you know, it's been five months since Dark Deity came out, which, you know, I want to throw up saying that right now because <laughs> it just feels wrong. But uh, it, it doesn't... Uh, can I buy a builder? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> um, I'm still working on Dark Deity, you know? Like, I've been mm -hmm. patching, we have to get the switch ready, we have, well, you know, localization mm -hmm. took so long, and I still have to do fixes for localization, and mm -hmm. I don't speak any of those languages, so it's, you know, it's mm -hmm. as, a, as a solo developer at this point, really, I'm the only one that's working on Dark Deity mm -hmm. uh, from a technical standpoint. Obviously, we have, like, some artists mm -hmm. um, going at it. But it doesn't oh. uh, it doesn't stop once you finish the game. You then have to continue working on it. For, and and I think that's an expectation that has uh, sort of changed and evolved as we've gotten more used to. Do I even have? Oh, I do have quarry unlocked. Okay, finally. Um, sort of has changed and evolved as we've gotten further into this modern age of gaming where you've got mm -hmm. games as a service and you know patches mm -hmm. are so easy to put out so it's not it's, you know it's, it's never a finished product it's uh, yeah. sort of weird it continues you'll never be able to uh move on kind of feel it kind of feels that way it's obviously not true um and mm -hmm. you know i've been we've sort of been in the early planning stages for our next project for forever now just because it's you know we're not actually going to be working on it until everything's we're not, we're not going to be full working on it until everything's done with dark deity but uh, we mm -hmm. sort of know what we're doing what am i doing <laughs> i wonder that's the question i don't know but what i will tell you is that these these barbarian warriors are making me extremely nervous yeah i've got a, a scout and a warrior coming towards a defenseless settler by chance. You left him out to dry, you rat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All my other duos are on the other side of the country. I figured How maybe could I could just you? look over here and maybe it'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost deleted a unit by accident. That would have sucked. That would be tragic. <laughs> now we got Hong Kong and Buenos Aires right next to me. That's nuts. 
crazy tourist locations. Honestly, we're living we're living the dream here. You walk right down the road to these <laughs> lovely cities. Because mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, Do this. I want to build over here. You're really telling me to build a setter, settler out of Aquila? I feel like that's <laughs> not a good idea. I think that's a terrible idea. My advisor is sandbagging me. <laughs> advisor got paid off. Vicious, dude. Literally. <laughs> I, I I know you're I know you're paying the reps off right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's happening here. Uh... First, you got to host me with a session with a dark deity demo, but now that now that I'm hosted, now you play by my rules. <laughs> <laughs> now we now we got the Uno house rules going down. <laughs> what to do? What to do? But yeah, I guess the next question that I have here is all those that wound up being involved in the project, how did they wind up getting involved? So, uh, a sort of a shocking amount of people did actually work on Dark Deity. Um, mm -hmm. More than I'd even like to think about because it just feels <laughs> crazy. Uh, but the the members that you know you would say are like a member of the core team the five people that were on the, what we would have considered the dev team uh mm -hmm. were all personal friends of mine from just mm -hmm. various points in my life that uh kind of it worked out that they also wanted to work on it um mm -hmm. you know dylan who oh i gotta choose my government hold on this is <laughs> this right here give me a hot second i gotta figure out what my form of government is <laughs> All right, we're doing it. Let's do it. I got a change here. Uh, fuck that. Oh, and I have a wild card policy. Okay. All right. Okay. We love that. Let's do it. <laughs> we love to see it. Love to see it. Oh, my camera got weird for a sec. Anyway, uh, so Dylan, who is uh, who's my partner on the project from the start, was uh, <laughs> a middle middle school, high school friend of mine. We're still. Uh, you know, we played TFT until six in the morning last night. Uh, you know, we're still close friends. Uh, <laughs> I'm not proud of that. Uh, it was a one-time thing. Uh, it's, it's, we sort of got into delirium mode and just kept queuing. Uh, it wasn't just him and I. Some other friends were there too. Mm -hmm. But uh, <clears throat> and then Jono, who did the map art, uh, was my college roommate. Mm. Uh, Sam, who was the composer on the project, and my warrior really got all the way up there. Holy shit. Uh, let me just vibe it up there. What do we want? Definitely currency. Sam uh, was someone that I played pickup basketball with a couple times at St. Oh. Mary's, where I we went to college, mm -hmm. uh, and then sort of didn't talk to for a couple years. And then when we were starting out, putting out feelers for people to work on Dark Deity, um, I was like asking around, like, oh, you know anyone that that like you know does pixel art for fun and he came over and showed me some of his stuff and his pixel art wasn't that good but turned out his music was uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh he did he composed you know if there's i know the exact number but say there's like 40 pieces of music in the game he composed like 35 of them 34 hmm. something like that um hmm. and then everyone else you know we had uh, we used an outsourcing program program outsourcing website i guess you'd call it upward mm -hmm. uh the hire you know like patricia our character artist was the first person that uh was hired onto the project um mm -hmm. and garrick i know you've played it garrick was the first character to be done mm -hmm. and we didn't actually even work on irving until like 15 characters later <laughs> we wanted to get him right <laughs> yeah gijarta has sent you a message the number of people living in your empire is truly impressive oh man <laughs> I'm I'm fucking flattered right now. <laughs> I might just give you all my money. Uh, <laughs> time time to simp. Time to simp. We out here. We out here simping. I want to do. Why the fuck? No one's no one's. Are you are you building any wonders right now? No. I'll give you that idea. I'm just uh just checking. Why I'm would like, I I'm be build, doing that? Building some wonders myself. <laughs> Are you now? Just a couple. Just, just, just a, couple. a tad. But yeah, it definitely sounds like a lot of things were able to work out for me. Did you just take my freaking traitor out? Unbelievable. Did I? 
the, the freaking, sorry, the barbs. But, um... I, mean, I was going to say, I mean, I'm, I would certainly wasn't on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> do I not have any? I oh, feel like I have crud. Envoy. Oh, I do, I do, I do. Okay. Oh, crud. I... <laughs> How's it going over there? Sounds like perhaps it's not too pretty. I'm living the life. I do have to say. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, so there, there, there were, you know, um, like Molly, who was our VA director, who was really, really, really active in a big part of the project, um, is just a huge Fire Emblem lover uh, and found us from Lucky Crit's video, I think it was, and reached mm -hmm. out like, hey, you know, if you need voice acting help. And then we sort of we sort of ignored her for uh, a couple months, and then and then well, we didn't ignore her, but we just said, you know, like yeah, we're not doing voice acting. Mm -hmm. and wasn't a plan yet. We got we got so much traction on it, and it was going so well. You know, we were gonna have the money to do it because of the Kickstarter, and we were like, all right, fucking help us out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she was wonderful, mm -hmm. helping with that. But yeah, that's uh, you know, it's I I could I could go on for. A very, very long time about the many different people that worked on uh, on Dark Deity, but I think <laughs> it's uh, it sort of gets redundant at, at one point. You know, it's we continued to get lucky with people, you know, loving the game we were making and and just having a great team across the board. <laughs> we got lucky a thousand times over with in in a, in a in a million different ways, but especially with uh, the people we found. <laughs> Everything was able to work out in that kind of way. I just discovered Persia. Yeah, holy shit, these barbarians <laughs> are insane, dude. <laughs> They've got three horsemen just chilling <laughs> on my border right now. In oh, they're gonna come for my goddamn great prophet. <laughs> Advisor tells me I need it, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. I need it. <laughs> Get my Legendary stupid traitor back after my last one died. Uh, wait, wait. Get that great profit away from those hooligans. <laughs> when do I? Can you, when do I found a pantheon at ten faith? I don't recall. <laughs> quite frankly. Yes, it's at ten. Okay. Oh lord. All right. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Oh my god. Wait, are they gonna kill this man? I'm gonna be I'm actually gonna cry. <laughs> this yeah, this scary. oh that's gonna be so tragic if that happens. Siri played Despacito. Literally. <laughs> I you know what? I have an Amazon say quietly so it doesn't activate <laughs> in my house. <laughs> uh and that was the first thing I had to do. I had to I had to play Despacito. It's very <laughs> very important it's the rule it's the law what's the law it's just too good too good and too old of a meme it was it was funny i took beginner spanish classes in high school and uh our spanish teacher had this thing she called music video friday where it's like you could request like some spanish music videos so before despacito was even a meme it started essentially becoming a meme around my beginner spanish classroom Jeez. was the thing and uh that's, that's brutal right the, there that's all I... <laughs> the one troublemaker of the class would always be requesting despacito and the teacher would always be being like nope we uh we've heard a lot of despacito can't do it this time but for special occasions she'd be like okay insert name here we can play <laughs> despacito today and he'd be sounds, like yes sounds like, sounds like my kind of man <laughs> oh man i i need to found this religion but there's horsemen standing on Stonehead. <laughs> These dickheads. What kind of religion are you gonna be founding, huh? Uh, what are you gonna be spreading across be the world? Remains to be seen. I'm sure I'll name it something. Uh, <laughs> something gross. <laughs> spreading the word of gonorrhea is very important to me. It's an idea you hold very closely. Yes. These barbarian, uh, what barbarian settings are on? This is insane. I don't know. Okay, I, hold I on. swear this is default. I, I honestly, like, I want to send you a screenshot of what's going on outside <laughs> Rome right now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm actually getting sore. What bro. is this? <laughs> They're what? vicious, man. They're vicious. One, They're two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> 
What? They want my they want my firstborn son. <laughs> I thought my barb issue was crazy, but <laughs> this okay. Well, you've uh, one up me in the barb department, I think. Get off of my damn Stonehenge! <laughs> trying to make religion. <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> But yeah, my next question that I have here about the game is, are were, bleh, I can't words today. Were there any major roadblocks throughout the uh, development process? Quite a few, to be honest. Um, at, at different, different ones at various points. Um, <laughs> the biggest, I guess roadblock isn't the right word for this, but mm -hmm. the biggest struggle I would say that we had was... Uh, the combat animations starting mm. so late in development. So oh. it took about two and a half years all told to make Dark Deity start to finish, mm -hmm. which feels like a lifetime to me, but I, it's actually relatively fast as far as like an indie, indie game of that size goes. Mm -hmm. um, and we started, we didn't start the combat animations until we started the Kickstarter pretty much, mm -hmm. uh, which was... Uh, Meant that you didn't have to show didn't have that to show launch. off when marketing the Kickstarter. Yes. Yeah. We had like one that we showed off like three times. Like it's just <laughs> the same animation everywhere. Because it was it was sort of the proof of concept, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, can you not like attack with cities anymore? I feel like they normally are able to You can, but only if you have ancient walls. I'm fairly certain. Uh, I, I think if I, if I recall. Just buy ancient walls, but you can't do that. Okay. <laughs> well let's let's uh, let's do that. We'll build that. Um, how are my spearmen doing? Oh, oh, major. Oh no, it's a stalemate. I'm stupid. <laughs> it it looked like a major victory to me. <laughs> it was a major victory in heart and spirit. Just, yeah, honestly, that's big, 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 big facts. <laughs> uh, it's not about winning. It's about sending a message. Exactly. This man gets it. Uh, but yeah. So the the, the combat animations was by far the biggest thing. Um, just that to get it's you know it's not a small undertaking you know I, I think some people don't really realize just how many animations 54 classes is with crits and all the you know the spells is its own whole beast so that's sort of separate but we had I think a total of up to what 12 animators oh, at, at different various points working on it Obviously, some you know did more than others, and and been trying to get all of that done in the time frame that we wanted because we had you know promised a date with the Kickstarter that we didn't hit, <laughs> but we we really were trying to, mm -hmm. uh, we were aggressively trying to, and we just couldn't really couldn't get there because it it was too big of an undertaking. Um, mm -hmm. But all those animators were were a joy to work with. We had it was just so 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 unbelievably fun watching the designs for these things roll in uh you know it's just sort of seeing we had the little map sprites you know they'd all been done for a year at that point uh <laughs> so we knew the classes we had all the class flavor but seeing them sort of brought blown up into that uh 2d battle style was uh was a joy <laughs> but also uh a huge 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 pain in the ass <laughs> <laughs> so a little little bit of both there Sure, these policies. Um, this. I'll be honest. I'm sort of just clicking random shit at this point. <laughs> Diplomatic policies. Assuming it'll go fine. Oop. Yeah, here's here's hoping. It's kind of what I'm doing a lot of the time as well. Here. He is about to die for sure, but that's okay. Hopefully, that's okay. I guess we'll find out. But that's a okay. Go ahead and die. <laughs> <laughs> die for the name of your country. Honestly, man, man's is doing me a service right now. Oh, city ranged attack. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you for uh, letting me know that that's what was going on there. Hmm. Huge. It's going to be huge. 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 Finally, hopefully, we'll finally be able to create my religion here. <laughs> Except I, I think these... Horsemen are about to kill my spearmen and occupy the tile again. <laughs> I wanted to create a religion earlier on, but like, I've got no mountains anywhere around me, and the one place founded by some mountains is uh, 
busy making a harbor because I'm dumb. Um, <laughs> so, it's a situation. This city state's units are completely blocking my settler from getting where it wants to go. Like, do you mind? I have to go all the way around. Spend like an extra four or five turns on this. Okay. Almost done here. I have to name my religion. <laughs> What's its name gonna be, huh? I don't know, man. I'm what, not. What are you gonna uh, spread around the world? Here. What am I going to spread around the world? We're gonna spread around Final Fantasy uh, 14. <laughs> Need to spread its good word. Spread the good word, yeah. Uh, you'll have some viewers that'll appreciate the meme there. <laughs> I've never played it, but uh, the missionaries have been coming at me for for a long time. So, <laughs> what about Final Fantasy fourteen? Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're vicious, man. I've never played it myself. I believe one of the previous sessions I did with this with a fellow Twitch streamer, Uneven Pictures, he was telling me about that. If that's the uh, online one, it is the yeah, it's the MMO. Mm. Yeah, he was telling me about it during during our session. Yeah, I don't remember okay. what the Dylan. context was, how it came up, but I remember it did. You, it, it comes up in, like, in the Dark DD Discord. It's, it, it, we talk about that game, I swear, more than anyone <laughs> talks about Dark DD. Tragic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exit all my notifications here. I'm actually such a degen right now, just leaving them. <laughs> so this just naturally means you need to start working on uh, Dark DD 14. Honestly, yeah, that's uh, that's the next step. Yeah. Dark DD MMO. Mm -hmm. And you'll just skip Def 2 to 13. Definitely happening. <laughs> God. I know the, the, the roadblocks is sort of the fun thing. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, we, we, we did have more. We had a lot more successes than we had roadblocks in development mm -hmm. for, for it to go as well as it did. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, you know, I, I've after launch, uh, it's it's been a <laughs> it's been a bit of a, a struggle for me to sort of um, position it in my mind as a success, right? Because it went from mm -hmm. not having developed any games to having finished one, which is a you know an accomplishment. But we had uh, mm -hmm. we had a lot of people that weren't the happiest with how it was. We had a lot of people that really loved it, uh, and mm -hmm. a lot of people that not so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mixed reception in some uh, ways certainly been a bit of a, a task. Uh, I think something a lot of people don't realize is that uh, even if something, you know, like early on when we had like 80%, you know, we're still around there, 80% good Steam reviews, you know, mm -hmm. it's still like a couple hundred scathing reviews <laughs> on the, on the yeah. So it is, a, it is a lot of sort of negativity to, <laughs> to take in. That's the kind of thing that I'll notice with like my channel when and I have a video that like does particularly well for itself. The biggest case being my video essay that I did criticizing the business decisions of Pokemon, where it's like a 92% like ratio or something like that. So it's still mostly yeah, positive. Yeah. But those who but are that, like that very outspoken, vicious, man. <laughs> oh, they are very, very vicious. I uh yeah. I had one this morning saying like all these garbage takes from fake fans can't be can't be can't be real. So I, I respond to them asking, what's a fake fan? And I haven't got a response yet, but I'm eagerly awaiting to see if they uh, <laughs> tell me what exactly fake fan means, because I'm very curious. This, they're having their stop hating on Sonic moment. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, no, I, it, it's it's a little different for Dark DD because we did, you know, we made a, a pretty fair share of mistakes. And there's a lot of mm -hmm. things that I would, you know, like to go back and do different. But uh, mm -hmm. it's definitely, uh, I think, went well for the most part. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm excited for the I'm excited for the Switch launch. I will say I think it's gonna be I think a lot of people are gonna have a lot of fun with it on, uh, on Switch, mm -hmm. especially you know that it's not that early launch build that had you know obviously there's still stuff that I'm ironing out, but uh, mm -hmm. that early launch build did have quite a few problems compared to where it is now. Mkai, drugs are bad, Mkai. Mkai, Mkai. Okay, where, where, where the heck was I in my uh my questions here? Right, yeah. Dark, right. Dark Deity is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a game that exists. Um, would you say that you enjoyed your time developing the game? Absolutely. Yeah, I I had a blast. Um, I was there was a point where I was I was doing eighty hour weeks for a couple months straight. <laughs> that, that it got a little tough, but even then, like working on games is 
as a job, which is still feels weird to say. <laughs> still, still feels like wrong to say that, but it's such a fucking joy. It's, I mean, <laughs> and being able to work on like something that's my own creation and I'm not just like pumping out models, you know, I get to step into a lot of different roles every day. <laughs> um, I had so much fun, so much fun <laughs> working on it. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, been a little less fun post launch because it's <laughs> it's not it's not so much creation as just like fixing shit and you know yeah. like the localization work that's just like moving text around and that sort of thing yeah just hamming out like the little details at this point but for the most part yeah i had an absolute blast and you know the whole team i just because we were really a group of friends as much as we were co-workers we were absolutely not co-workers i would not use <laughs> you know we were just you know we had we had a lot of fun with it Mm -hmm. yeah i uh there's only one time that i like really worked on a game for one of my classes i mentioned it briefly during the uh mm -hmm. the demo session where it's like for one of my game design classes we had th three months to make a game for this class in like a group of six <laughs> and it uh my goodness that is not enough time to make a game no it, it's not no it, well uh, and especially uh there's sort of this perception with small teams and big teams that like what people something that people miss um, or don't really have the chance to see firsthand is that you really really do not get a 1-1 one, one production boost when you add people to work on stuff yeah because the time to coordinate and to figure out oh i'm doing this what are you doing you know all mm -hmm. of that really does add up mm -hmm. um, and that's why i sort of feel blessed to have been a solo programmer on this because <laughs> uh, i had the freedom to just like go ham on and not have to coordinate it and mm -hmm. uh you know it certainly probably would have helped to have a second person but uh mm -hmm. but there are <laughs> ways in which having a team can slow you down i mean it's mm -hmm. it's it pretty much always always going to be faster with multiple people but you know mm -hmm. like a, a team of six in three months making a game is you know it's just it's not enough <laughs> like it, it was just meant to be something short it was like a 20 to 30 minute game was the expectation but mm -hmm. still and it uh yeah. it was people with all from all sorts of different backgrounds all kinds of different faculties and so Got the it. software that we did it in was just rpg makers that even those outside okay, of programming yeah. could help with the programming I actually as never well used rpg maker a couple of my friends did back in it's the day. interesting i don't know what it's like to use it the normal intended way because we were told to get full marks in this class, you have to make something that's not an RPG, an RPG maker, and nobody made an RPG in the whole class. That's that's actually I kind of love that. Uh, I love that assignment though. That I feel like that makes something Go, different. Going outside the lines is how you learn with this sort of shit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, mm -hmm. following the tutorials and doing what's intended is is always going to you know you're going to be able to do that and figure that out. You know, there's forum posts, there's xyz there's always an explanation for how to do stuff the, the mm -hmm. parts that were hardest about coding coding dark deity by far were when i was building out you know like a, a weird system that other people hadn't made in gmf yeah. before and there's no forum documentation on what i'm trying to do and mm -hmm. you know no, no one that i can you know ask because i you know i had i know a couple other people who program in uh, in gml who i would ask sometimes who are much more experienced than i and be like what the fuck does this do <laughs> You know, and and uh, I think when I learned the most and got better the most was when uh, I really had to just stumble through and figure it out. Mm -hmm. I am back with my cat. Welcome back. For screaming at me. She wanted to come into the office. Hello. <laughs> Cyrus just offered me a deal where we both give each other where we both give each other open borders and he gives me three gold. And I was like, well, maybe I can get something more out of this AI. So I took off the three gold and put up like a hundred and then clicked the button to make this deal more equitable. Just hoping that that would put his AI up to like what he was most willing yeah. to do. And it switched the gold to my side to give him and the best offer he'll now accept is me to give him nine gold for 30 turns. <laughs> He's offended. <laughs> he was offended by the offer. I don't... How did this happen? <laughs> Hmm. Oh yeah, My, the squad, the city-states are fighting the barbarians for me, finally. <laughs> Surrounded by a bunch of city-states. <gasps> One of them would be like a great place to put a campus if I take it, but like... Hmm. But yeah, next question I'd have here, are there any 
any stories from development you may like to share? There, oh god, there's, there's, there's so many. I, I gotta think on, you know, an individual, uh, like, <laughs> what specifically, because it was, yeah, it was two and a half years of my life that I, most yeah. of that time was spent developing the game. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the funniest, I'll, the story I'll tell is that cause I, because I was in college for a year and a half of the two and a half years working on this, uh, mm -hmm. I spent quite a bit of time in classes working on it in the back on my laptop. Uh, I had this dinky, you know, gamer laptop from it was like a graduation present from high school <laughs> that was so beat up. Uh, and I'd just be in the back <laughs> programming, uh, you know, during econ class or, yeah, it's uh, a shocking amount of Dark Deity was done in econ and math classrooms <laughs> i just say oh, i'm taking notes and they knew i wasn't taking notes but i did find <laughs> the classes so didn't really care was, uh... <laughs> once once i hit the point in, where i knew that what i wanted to do was game development which was not that far in i was you know i was like oh my god i'm hooked i love this this is this is you know what i want to do mm -hmm. uh i uh wasn't wasn't all that interested in uh the stellar performance in my college classes anymore. <laughs> Although I missed, uh, I missed, uh, missed cum laude by, by fucking one A at a B. And mm -hmm. if I'd got an A in that last class, I, I uh, would have, would have hit cum laude. So I was kind of butt mad about that, I will admit. But I don't even know uh, what that term means. Is that like a states thing that we don't have in Canada? Oh, or, uh, maybe. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's some colleges have it. It's just like a honor for GPA. Hmm. So I had gotcha, like a gotcha. Fucking, three four nine or something instead of a three five hmm. so not not the most impressive thing but uh, when i when i got to my last semester and i was like oh i could get this because i hadn't really thought about it before then uh then i was then i was uh upset to not <laughs> <laughs> i had never i had never cared until it was like a oh hey it's it's get an a in that one class and we're good and then i did tragic but i i i had a to be honest, more important things to do. I I, mm -hmm. I prioritize development pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. Just something and when then, passion COVID takes hold, happened. I guess. God, yeah, literally. I mean, COVID was uh, this this it's fucked up, but COVID was actually, in terms of my how my life went, was a pretty positive thing for how my life direction was going because, mm -hmm. you know, I I uh, well, I moved in with my girlfriend who now we're on our third place together because we've been moving like crazy since then but oh, uh, I got the freedom oh. and well because I we didn't see other people anymore which sucked because we lost our second semester of college and you know for all the other reasons that it sucked it's awful thing but um, I sort of just like was in my room for the next year working on Dark Deity and I had no <laughs> obligations to do anything else and you know the work from home classes I would just like my camera was on but i was i was working on dark deity you know what i mean like it it uh it really freed me up to to finish it and drive it home which um i don't know if i'd have had the, the freedom to do that um without without covid it down. yeah mm. which it's it's messed up but uh it's sort of just <laughs> sort of sort of how it went so i think there was a total of six civs on this map and i'm at one, two, three, four discovered. So there's one more AI and you to find. I've I've met one person. I've just been chilling in my little corner, <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> uh, stories from development. Um, the, the the I'll give you one more on this and that. Oh, Maisie, you are so sweet. <laughs> Her cat bed with me. Good kitty. She's a terror. She's she's caused me thousands of dollars in electrical <laughs> equipment. She chews oh, no. wires. She's a wire chewing kitty. She loves wires. You're a menace, Maisie, but you're very cute. Um, I worked for that first, the first, I don't know, six, seven months, maybe it was, uh, in COVID in uh, the place that we moved into, which was uh, the there was a studio under my stepmom's house, uh, which was sort of like living in your mom's basement, which is you know, a huge meme, but whatever. Uh, we'll take it. <laughs> uh 
I was working on this tiny coffee table with one monitor, um, <laughs> which, you know, when you work from home, game development, two monitors is, you, it's hard to describe how big of a impact that has. Uh, and like my back was hurting because I was on this tiny coffee table just going at it. Um, and then <laughs> went to Ikea and bought a big ass adjustable desk, which broke like a month <laughs> later. But it had enough space for two monitors once I had some adapters. Got to repair that. So that was uh, was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a lot of envoys at this city state. I'm declaring war on them anyway. I'm sorry. <laughs> Madman? <laughs> How many did they, you have? I had three there. But like... There's there's just nothing but planes around me everywhere, and there's one city state is like the one place that's next to like some mountains and stuff that I can maybe get some adjacency off of. So you just you just gotta do it, you know? You just had to do <laughs> My it. My hands were tied. Sometimes it's gotta be that way. I didn't want to come to this. <laughs> Never meant to but be they... so bad to you. <laughs> oh, the Ooh. barbos are back and they have a settler. Ooh, I wonder if I can steal that settler. Hold on. <laughs> That means they must have taken it from someone else. Also, finally, great profit. About time. I know you mentioned mm. streaming. I, uh, mm. I'm i just starting up my uh, developer streams again. I did them mm. during development for a lot of it on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now I'm doing once a week because I just couldn't I couldn't handle doing twice weekly. Yeah, that was going to be one of my other questions was uh, like what other kind of content you do, mm. namely with Twitch stream kind of stuff. So right now, I well, normally it's, you know, I'll develop and just answer questions and talk about the process on my Twitch. Uh, mm -hmm. Plug it, SNA Charles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, it's right now I'm doing also a, a vanilla playthrough, which uh, the only I, I've only ever played randomized Dark Deity on stream. <laughs> uh, so this is the first time I'm doing a vanilla playthrough and I'm only on chapter four or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And it's going to go pretty, pretty slowly since it's once a week. Um, mm -hmm. But it is, it's sort of fun to play my own game and get the questions about, you know, it, it's, mm -hmm. that's when the fun stories come out of like, oh, you know, I remember I was doing this while I was working on this, and, mm -hmm. you know, X, Y, Z. Uh, so it's, I'm excited to continue that because my randomizer run was really, really cursed, like <laughs> bad. So I, I, I like couldn't even progress past chapter eight. I had, uh, all of my warriors had like a 2% strength aptitude. Uh, oh, it was so bad. Oh, no, no, it was my clerics had like two magic. <laughs> so they just couldn't heal. But the, they also were all really bad in combat, too. So it was, uh, it was, it was cursed. So glad to, glad to start over. But out, outside of that, you know, we don't, we don't really use the YouTube. I do post quite mm -hmm. a few TikToks, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're all just shit posts. They have nothing to do with the game. I'm, it's actually my it's just my personal shit posting account <laughs> and that sounds like a joke but i'm i'm so completely serious that's that's all it is <laughs> it's bad have you ever thought about like having your playthrough stuff that you do like as a permanent record or archive anywhere either as like twitch collections or having like a playthrough on youtube or anything you like know, that i i haven't although that sounds like a good idea but i haven't I'll think about um, it. I, I, sometimes <laughs> I say shit I shouldn't on stream. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's not a good idea. Who knows? I'll have to, I'll have to check them out first. I, uh, I I was not good about spoilers leading up to launch. I was pretty good. I got better. I got better. <gasps> Somebody got has better. to know after all. But uh, but I did. Uh, I let slip accidentally quite a few bits of information about the game <laughs> in the lead up. I was I was sort of I was memed on for that quite frequently. That was my that was my thing. The the accidental leaks. The voice channel in our uh, Discord is still called Leak Central because <laughs> that's uh, we I'd just go in there and divulge information. <laughs> Wait, why did Gandhi denounce me? <laughs> that's Gandhi for you. You know about uh, you know about that, right? Yeah, I uh, and somebody that we talked about in our use of history oh, in, right, of course. in video right, games right, right. class, yeah, talking have. about yeah. talk about Civ. I think it's probably yeah, because I mean. declared war on the city state, though. Mm -hmm. It's probably what's actually going on here. You're despicable. Yeah, I'm the absolute worst. I need these mountains. I have no. I have very little means to gain science. You know, as Bill Nye would say, science rules.
God, dude. <laughs> Except this time, science is quite, quite literally going to rule. I'm going to rule with an iron fist of science over here. Oh yeah, I can always look over at my other questions of need be. I'm just getting distracted with the stuff that's going on here. Uh, you're, you're all good. I, I've been sort of pulling it up just because I know there's some doozies coming up that I wanna, <laughs> wanna be ready for. <laughs> <laughs> You know the one. You know the question that I'm. The I've question. Been, just been thinking about the whole time. What's the meaning of life? You no. Know, uh... Wonderful, wonderful question. All right, let's see here. I think around this area, I'd want to settle this area because it's a big open space. But there's literally nothing here. <laughs> like it. It freaking I'm about to steal suck. this settler, big time. I'm about to swoop his ass. <laughs> Why did I put in the freaking? colonization policy for like more settler production and then immediately after doing it I didn't even make any settlers you're a mad lad that's why I, <laughs> that must be the answer I think you're gonna be very very disappointed when you watch this uh, recording back and realize <laughs> that I am absolutely not <laughs> strategizing whatsoever I'm just <laughs> clicking whatever the advisors got <laughs> I'm just chilling I was not trying to attack the fucking settlers. Why would I know? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. It's okay. It was just the animation. It was just the animation. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh. Had a mini heart attack there. Oh god, that would have been. That would have been so fucked. I would have. I would have been so upset. <laughs> He's running away with the settler. Get the fuck back here. What are you? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, I'm so mad right now. Get back here. Keep in the city. I'm actually, I'm actually getting, getting shit on. <laughs> well, now what do I do with this massive army that I got to take this one city state? Do I take another one? But I mean, is your upkeep just totally fucked? No, my upkeep's fine. I've just, uh, because commercial hubs were like the only thing that I could actually make any use out of for some good adjacency. It's funny, I, I've been sort of sitting here just not building more cities, and I think I am horribly crippled because of it. <laughs> because I, there's so many barbarians that have just been chilling around me that I just continue building infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, what is what is your gold per turn right now? I think I'm going to cry if it's massive. 47.8. <laughs> and I've got... Uh... <laughs> I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve military units. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I, uh, I have a 5.4 income. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, uh, pulling up to Sentinel Island when you come find me. It's gonna be bad. Let's see. I'll do this. Well, I don't know what to do with this army anymore, is the thing. I might just go after this other city state that's giving yeah, me science. That, that just because I can get like some well. good science off of it too, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> but uh yeah, strategy games, uh it's it is it's a it's a little funny that I the Dark Deity is what I chose to work on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because it's, uh, I do love Fire Emblem. I played a lot of Fire Emblem in my day, but it's really not like my favorite uh, kind of thing. Consider my favorite or like my primary genre. You know, I always played mm -hmm. a lot of RPGs. You know, in the more like, like third-person action RPG kinds, like a Dark Souls mm -hmm. or Elder Scrolls. Mm -hmm. You know, that sort of thing. I only just uh, beat Dark Souls three like a last week. <laughs> okay. Probably should have checked if I'm actually gonna win this interaction. Oh. I am. Oh. Let's see here. Dark Souls 3 is uh, phenomenal, in my opinion. I quite enjoyed a lot of it. Some parts were stressful. I mean, probably attributed to the fact that I was doing a 25 hour charity stream and the first 15 hours were my first sitting of Dark Souls 3 alone. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do so, it. So, uh, next uh, question yeah. I have here is, uh, what are your favorite games? You're talking about like your favorite genres there, so I guess that kind of leads into that is like yeah. third person RPGs kind of thing. Uh, my favorite game of all time is Oblivion. Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Mm. I grew up on it. I have probably 1500 hours, something on it, maybe more. Um, mm. I played the ever living shit out of that game when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, it was, you know, I've done all the, 
Done all the quests multiple times. I had a character that I just ran around and found every map point on. I just loved that game. Uh, <laughs> so for nostalgia purposes, that'll always be my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, I have played quite a bit of World of Warcraft. So uh, it has to be up there, even though it's uh, been pretty trash for a while. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I, and I, you know, canceled my sub recently for reasons um, <laughs> that uh, you know you don't need to read too far into to figure that one out. Uh, but favorite games, Radiant Dawn, I think is the mm -hmm. best. Is, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's my favorite Fire Emblem game by a huge margin. Um, one day I'll play it properly. Fire game, which is probably why. Mm. Um, I love Mountain Blade. Bannerlord's not quite as good as Warband was, but uh, Warband. I'm not sure if I'm actually familiar with those. There, uh, it's very sandboxy. It's almost like a halfway in between an action RPG and Civ. Hmm. Uh, you sort of have like the overworld and the politics of it, and then you also have. Uh, can you actually just like purchase healing in this game? I forget. You I don't couldn't. believe so. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, love me some, some Mountain Blade. I mean, I have so many, um, I love the Mass Effect games, Dragon Age. The, mm -hmm. This is everything that I loved. One day uh, I need to play those, especially considering they're made in my city. <laughs> I would One highly day. recommend. <laughs> I would highly recommend. Is that, uh, the, the Bioware... Was, was that a question? What was that? The what, Bioware? Was... No, no, but like, what, what? What city? Edmonton. Edmonton. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I, uh, I even, I even found out towards the end of my uh, beginner Spanish classes that one of the people I was in the class with there was actually even one of the Bioware founders' kids. And I only that's found cool. that's cool. I only that's found awesome. this out in like the last couple months of classes. Yeah, go, I was like, man, him. go bug him for free Mass Effect, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him anymore. But after hearing that, it's like, man, I wish I really could have hey. gotten to know him sooner. Hey, I know it's been a while. Uh, yeah. I don't. How's your dad doing? <laughs> I don't. I don't. Th I don't think I have his number. But uh, I know that my dad knows one of the uh, one of the founders who's not involved with Bioware anymore. But cool. one of the founders wound up going on to be involved with the beer industry, and that's a kind of the industry that my dad's involved in. So that's that's a pretty cool industry to have a dad involved in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, he uh, that's, that's... was the head brewer for a few different breweries at different points. Um, that's really cool. After after this one place, he wound up making his own contract brewing company. So it's like he'd rent out other breweries to like brew his product there and like sell his own product with his own huh. with his own company and that's... whatnot. But That's it hasn't awesome. been going on for a while because of uh, old injury catching up to him and him needing to uh, be on workers' it. comp and stay home and stuff. But Got it. Got there it. was a time that <laughs> we had our own uh, beer company within this household. That's so sick. Maybe one day it'll come back again, but it might not I'm be not for a while. I'm not a cocktail man myself, but... <laughs> Wait, why Monica, don't I... my, my girlfriend drinks... She'll drink beer. I, I, I'm not the biggest beer person. I don't drink, like, alcohol at all, <laughs> pretty much. Look I, at this man making good life decisions. I, Couldn't and it's, be me. <laughs> maybe just uh, this. But yeah, mo mostly, mostly the sort of classic of my childhood, at least RPGs. Um, mm -hmm. And then I got in, you know, like high school, got a little bit more into. You know, I played a shit ton of CS:GO mm -hmm. um, and more. In middle school, I played League of Legends. Gracefully, I got out of that much earlier than most people did. <laughs> um, so it's been ages. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll play. A lot of my friends actually still play, so I'll play like one game with them once in a while. Mm -hmm. uh, but like you know, I, I I do play TFT, which is mm -hmm. uh, an offshoot of that. Hmm. Um, yeah, something else. I really I really with. did. I I played everything. My oldest brother was a huge huge gamer, um, mm -hmm. so I you know, I grew up on like Diablo two was one of mm -hmm. the first games I played, which my mom was not super happy about when she found out. Um, but I kept playing it anyway. Uh, you know, played WoW as a kid. Whole lot, you know, obviously also played, you know, Pokemon and all the standard mm -hmm. Game Boy shit. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that that was as formative as some of the other stuff was, just because I didn't dump mm -hmm. the same sort of investment in it. But there's, yeah. there's not a whole lot of, there's not a lot of games that I won't play. Um, mm -hmm. I just kind of all around and whatnot. Around I, yeah, I, I, I play I play a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Although getting me to touch absolutely everything right now, 
I, 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 I the, the battle royale sicknesses. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of that shit. I'm so. so I'm just... When's the uh, Dark Deity Battle Royale coming? Dark Deity, I do the amount. Of, I, I've made that joke. <laughs> you know, it's it's. Oh God. The <laughs> the thing is, like, I could probably put out a shitty Dark Deity Battle Royale and make a bunch of money off of it because people just like buy battle royales for no reason. <laughs> and they're and, oh God, Dude, don't even get me started. Yeah, no, I I. Uh... <laughs> no, there will not be. Uh... It will not be a Dark Deity Battle Royale. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to uh, favorite games, another question would be, what are your least favorite games? Battle Royales? I, that's what's hard. <laughs> you know, I, I'd say Battle Royales. I actually have played and liked a lot of Battle Royales. I just wish that people would stop trying to imitate the good ones. And, you know, you have just developers trying to cash in on it. You know, like mm -hmm. it's, it's a totally valid... It's, it's a totally valid type of game and genre. It's just, you know, the, the whole... Frenzy is uh, not very genuine, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, least favorite games. Uh, you know what I will say is is uh, is the new Call of Duty Vanguard, which I didn't even know was coming out or a thing. Um, one of my friends convinced me to get it. I don't know why, but it was. He was like, "Yeah, all the boys are getting it. We're gonna play it." And then we got it, downloaded it, uh, and it crashed three times before I could even get to the main menu. What? Uh, and it wasn't just me, it happened to both my friends too. And it was just this buggy mess and it looked like shit, uh, you know, for, for a $60 game. And it's the same game that they've released a hundred times. Mm -hmm. uh, I played, we played one, we played one multiplayer game and refunded it. <laughs> it was, uh, I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know why I, why I did it in the first place. I, I knew it was going to be awful. <laughs> uh, it was a guilty pleasure. Well, you know, it's when we were, I don't know, I don't know about you, when, when I was a teenager, you know, COD was fun. Uh, it was never good, but it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I still have the colonization thing? Gosh, diggy darn it. Yeah, they, it's been, you know, they've been releasing the same game for 15 years now. <laughs> it's kind of tragic, to be entirely honest. I just can't imagine working on that. It's, I feel like it's so soulless. Hmm. Just recycling the same kind of same kind of thing, but but outside of that, you know, I don't know that I would have any least favorite games. Hmm. Um, and I and I'm gonna jump the gun on your next question because I think it is a good segue, <laughs> uh, which is I I intend and would love to continue making games, and it's it's sort of shit like buying Call of Duty Vanguard which, you know, is made by a, an ungodly team size, sold for $60 with microtransactions on top of that. Mm -hmm. And, a, you know, a, a $10 battle pass and a $60 game. <laughs> like, <laughs> that makes me want to make games that aren't like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's... I, yeah. I don't know. I miss single-player <laughs> games. I feel like... I feel like it's so easy, it's so much easier to make money with multiplayer games that mm -hmm. even single player games are, you know, it's a, it's sort of a hard sell. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to make this city? We're going to just go up here. Oop. I can't believe that I have two cities right now. <laughs> really well, they've got to be down. like mega cities at this point. They're, Something. they're not. They're actually not. <laughs> this is the most atrocious game of... Uh, most atrocious game of Civ I've ever played, bar none. <laughs> to be is entirely it, is it honest, mostly from I, the barb problem, or I, I, I to be it. entirely honest, I sort of thought that uh, you know this was this was gonna go for an hour, and we'd be we would be you know talking, going through questions, and the, that we wouldn't get to any sort of late game shenanigans here. <laughs> so I wasn't really worried about it. <laughs> I was just kind of clicking buttons. <laughs> uh, now, now here we uh, are, and now I'm paying for my transgressions. Um, but that's okay. Uh, but don't yeah, worry. I, I, to I totally don't have too many cities myself. No way. No, I mean, I, I no think that you're likely you've got like ten times my production in pretty much every category. But I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, we 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 will be continuing to make games. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, more to do on Dark Deity, so it's gonna be a while before mm -hmm. that really comes to pass. But. Uh, any specific you know, thinking about what we want to do is is mm -hmm. one of the most fun parts of being a game developer. Mm -hmm. Leaning towards any any genres by chance? 
that's uh, that I want it. Classified. <laughs> that's classified. Yeah, that's classified. We do. We know what we're working on next. Mm. Uh, genre classified for the moment. <laughs> Dating sim. <laughs> the dating sim. Everyone wants the dark DD. That's another thing that like. <laughs> People make that joke, but I could probably like whip together a shitty dating sim in a week <laughs> with all the uh, just flip the assets from Dark Deity and, and sell it and probably make decent money off of it. Now I have integrity, so I'm not going to. But that's the sort of thing that like people make the joke, but you don't realize that that is that would be very easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> it would be very easy to do to to sell the soul for a, a, a quick buck there. <laughs> Look at that sexy little spot for a city. Let's go do it down there. <laughs> oh no, the barbarians! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> What's happening over there? You know, I thought uh, I thought they'd probably taken care of this barbarian system down here. <laughs> system problem, but um, apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. Oh uh, yes, I am discovering divine right in 540 AD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely happy about that ah, I, I just used my uh, great merchant to uh, claim a tribal village for me <laughs> that's uh that's good that's called efficiency <laughs> it is it's getting creative is what it is you gotta, well they got great movement mm -hmm. great people you know what I mean <laughs> they really it's are nice. great people they really are Wonderful. It made such a incredible oh, impact on my life. <laughs> what, what great people they are. God, Where I'd be dude. without them. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. My settler is about to get consumed, I think. Consumed they're, by they're the sending, void. They're sending the scout after me. Spicy questions. The one you were saying was super spice. If you could will a game into existence without any work required, right. just summoning your optimal game, what kind of game would it be? Uh, I think there are a lot of ways in which I would like to answer this because there are a lot of different games that I would like to see made. Um, but I I'll give you one. I'll give you the cop-out answer. <laughs> and that's Elder Scrolls Six, just because I want to play that <laughs> shit. Give it to me. It's very frustrating to me that on yesterday when they released the 10 year anniversary on Skyrim that they're still in like pre-production on the next game it's been a fucking decade man come on <laughs> no one wants to play Starfield give us what we want <laughs> god damn it um but uh a more more serious answer would probably be some hybridization of the strategy RPG like a dark deity or a fire emblem um <laughs> with a more open RPG setting where you know you would combine uh, both combat styles hmm. and also both exploration styles. So you have that tight story, but you also have exploration. And um, I, it's it's hard to go into explicit details because uh, you know there's there's a lot of stuff that maybe one day I'll want to actually make myself. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but um, I definitely think uh, and this is something I think a lot of people that like SRPGs would agree with is that it's an underutilized genre big time mm -hmm. um, and both the grand scale action RPGs and grand scale strategy RPGs are sort of being there's less of them being made mm -hmm. now as you know it's it's not cost efficient to make a strategy RPG for a big company. It's just not mm -hmm. the amount of work that goes into it versus the audience for it. <laughs> when it's... you you could make a fucking battle royale and just cash <laughs> in, you know, there's no yeah. point. Um, <laughs> which is which is tragic, but mm -hmm. uh, but sadly true. I think that there's so much that with modern technology and a big team that like could be done with these genres that's just not being done right now uh, I would definitely want to go deep into that mm -hmm. really explore that territory yeah the alternative to that I'll give one more answer actually because this always mm -hmm. bothers me would be 
any of those games that are set in real cities and then they just completely bastardize the city. I would remake one of those, but actually get the fucking city right. <laughs> Think about I when I bought, I think it was Watch Dogs, maybe Watch Dogs 2 that was set in San Francisco where I grew mm -hmm. up. And it was supposed to be like this for like really genuine like look at San Francisco and then it was just atrocious. I was <laughs> not happy about that. <laughs> I, I've played that game. I've never been to San Francisco though, so I... I wouldn't know. It, uh, it, they sort of sold it as a, a faithful recreation. It was not, <laughs> which is sort of a very niche thing to give a shit about. So it's not like I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't really hold it against them. <laughs> Another question I'd ask is what would you say are your favorite and least favorite parts of this journey you've taken? Um, favorite parts of the journey. Probably, I'm going to say the Kickstarter, actually. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say the, the Kickstarter, because uh, up until that point, it was still small. Two things. Okay, when Lucky Crit, Stevie, who I love, and I, you know, I had been watching his content for a long time before hmm. this, when he made the, when we dropped our launch trailer, release trailer, not release trailer, our reveal trailer, hmm. and he had his video, um, and the first time that people saw it and were excited for it was like magical after working on it for at the time you know what was it a year or a year and a half without having shown it to anyone at all or knowing how it would be responded to you know suddenly having whatever 40,000 50,000 views on that video was mm. like holy shit <laughs> um, it was awesome but the Kickstarter was special because we didn't know where to set the money you know like I, we knew we knew mm. we would need like bottom line to make it but you know, we set it to the, the 12,000 was the goal which to be entirely honest in retrospect would not have been enough to do what everyone wanted to do mm -hmm. um, and then we hit that in six hours I think it was oh it was like that was a, very fast damn like you know people people give a shit they want it mm -hmm. um, that was really cool that was like a that was a special moment for me of like you know it's because uh, I'd been grinding away on this thing for a long time mm -hmm. um, that was that was very cool the, the Kickstarter mm -hmm. uh, I, have a, I have a video of uh, when the when the Kickstarter ended on the countdown I played the Dark Deity main theme <laughs> <laughs> which was sort of pretentious to do but it was uh, <laughs> but it was fun mm -hmm. Felt good. Uh, least favorites. Um, I, there weren't all that many low points. Mm -hmm. uh, this sound. This might sound <laughs> fucked, but you know, uh, probably, probably launch day was my least favorite. <laughs> Just because the stress, maybe. The stress was. Mm. I mean that that was a that was a hard day for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I still I still can't really watch people stream it. It freaks me out. <laughs> Uh, I have I have a hard time, and we you know we had like all the streams on, and you know people, there were more bugs than we thought there were because mm -hmm. all the different hardware running it. And we had you know I didn't know how much we needed to pay to test it, um, and we we fucked that up something fierce. Uh, <laughs> so I was just these streams would be on, and I was just terrified that you know someone was going to crash on stream or one of the big and, and you know none of them did, but it was uh, mm -hmm. you know I was answering questions. And, putting out fires and, you know, i had a, uh, i had my uh, units be unmovable sometimes on stream did you Go yeah on. oh the, or uh, yeah or it's like sometimes they'd be registered on a different tile than they actually are yeah to be entire you know i i fixed uh underlying things that caused that but i still have no fucking idea why it was happening <laughs> to be honest it's it's all um all those like big bugs that a lot of people had never i can't i can't reproduce them on my computer i was never able to <laughs> I don't know if it's like my computer's just too jacked and like runs it at a higher <laughs> rate. You know, it's it, for a lot of them that's what it is because it's like frames will get desynced and it's just getting mm. into technical stuff. So it doesn't really matter. Um, mm. But I think a lot of our testers also had pretty good computers because uh, there were a lot of those issues. Just we did test pretty extensively mm -hmm. um, and just didn't run into any of those. So uh, yeah, launch, launch day. Launch day was very stressful. Uh, that whole launch week, I was a bit of a mess, mm -hmm. uh, which is not not uh, probably not the usual answer you might get. 
game dev on the least favorite part of development, but uh, <laughs> that's mine. Mm -hmm. Was the week leading up particularly stressful, and what were like the demo sessions like when you were doing those? Um, you know, the demo sessions were fun. It was definitely exhausting because it's just a different kind of, you know, being on camera with people and going mm -hmm. over stuff. You know, it was, but you know, everyone we met with was really cool, yourself mm -hmm. included. You know, so it wasn't like a mm -hmm. man. I'm showing. All well, these I disagree. <laughs> it was. I was not was cool. <laughs> Those I had fun with. The, the week leading up was. Um, the week leading up, I was sort of just like, okay, let's just just let's just release the damn thing already you know, I've been waiting for this thing for so long uh mm -hmm. and then Oops. and then it, and then we released it and it was like god we needed more time in the oven <laughs> <laughs> put it back bring it put it back put it back <laughs> take it back um uh, yeah i i yeah you know it's you sort of underestimate just how much i'm no longer the suzerain what the fuck? Who's taking my city states? How dare they? That's okay. I'm not tripping about it. This is this is actually the worst. Fun if this was actually Rome, it would have uh, would have fallen a long time ago. <laughs> uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely a long week. <laughs> but the week leading up was fun. But I was this. exhausted, man. I had I had been <laughs> in crunch mode for six months to a year of mm -hmm. just not not seeing anyone, not doing anything. Dark deity from the moment I wake up to when I go to bed. <laughs> uh, I need, yeah, I, I I it was time for a break, a big <laughs> big <laughs> break. <laughs> I pushed myself a little too far leading up to that for sure. Um, <laughs> Which I, you know, I don't regret because it worked out, but uh, mm. I, was, I wasn't having the best time of my life near the end there. But it all worked out. What to it did. make? It did, it did. Oh. Oh! I see a person! Oh my goodness. It's the boy. What's up, my guy? See ya, I'm out of here. <laughs> Send a delegation to my friend, Acoustic Harmonia. <laughs> Friends for how long? <laughs> I'm unable to send a delegation for some reason. That's it. Huh? It won't let me. Oh, you know what? It's because I already ended my turn. That's why. Oh, <laughs> I can apparently send a there you go. thing. Well, let's see here. <laughs> you send me 10 gold, I'll send you 10 gold. <laughs> Now what? I will say, as we sort of pull up on two-ish hours here, I do at some point here have to run up uh, to grab... We left some clothing. Oh yeah, do, one of the do whatever you need to do. So I, I gotta dip out at some point pretty soon here. Mm -hmm. um, That's A-OK. -okay. A very unpleasant drive, I might add, up to my old place mm. to grab the rest of our stuff. Hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. That's a okay. When I went to make my last run, I forgot like four really nice sweaters in the <laughs> closet oh. <laughs> that I want, that we want to have. Sweaters so are like important. A, like, oh, we have to go back. <laughs> go back, so, right. go back to the Shire. I, uh, but I will be listening to Taylor Swift's new re-recording of Red on the way. It's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> It's gonna be lovely. That was my development music. There's the fun development track. music, <laughs> development I'm, I'm playlist. A, I'm, a, I'm a Taylor Swift fiend, <laughs> so I would I'd sit there coding, listening to Taylor Swift. I was on Spotify. I was in her top one percent of listeners <laughs> for all of the years of development. <laughs> it's bad. Oh, hello, sweetie. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she's rolling over here. I'll Stuff I won't be able to see until I go into editing later. <laughs> she hasn't really been... I, sh I should put this the camera down earlier. But she's all rolled out on her bed right now. <laughs> Hello. I assume it'll be cute when I see it later. 
Uh, you know, I promise you it will be. She's adorable. It'll be worth the wait. You are a little asshole, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the kind of thing you'd hear in like a Monty Python sketch. <laughs> My life is a Monty Python sketch, honestly. <laughs> Have you ever felt like some some situations with either your game or content you make or whatever have played out like a like a Monty Python sketch like a like the life of Brian bit where it's like he dropped the sandal we must all take our sandal and follow him no follow the god <laughs> has there been anything like that you know, ever? <laughs> there's been there's been a lot of goofy moments but I don't know if there's ever you know anything that's just straight up oh, of course I can't click <laughs> on your delegation keep ending my turn and then trying to do shit <laughs> It's, 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 there are a lot of goofy moments, but it was also, uh, a lot of it was pretty solitary. It was just sort of me sitting at my computer coding and, <laughs> and mm -hmm. putting shit in. Uh, it was, a uh, for as many people as worked on it, uh, it was a, it was a startlingly solitary experience for, uh, for a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Um, although we definitely had some, we definitely had some moments like that, uh, in our team meetings with the five of us. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much we memed around in like my uh, game design group for that one university project. I think it's like it, it we memed like... around like slightly in the very beginning, but then like by the end, we all just hated each other or something. Oh, <laughs> We're all just no. fed up. <laughs> fed up, I can understand. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. um, it's not easy to work on something creative like this in a mm -hmm. group, um, especially if, you know, there's weight being pulled in different ways in different directions uh mm -hmm. especially i'd imagine in a class like that that egos can get in the way mm -hmm. um yeah for sure our really our story problem. writing guy kind of turned into a massive jerk and our music guy just vanished off the face of the planet essentially <laughs> we didn't we didn't have that problem nick our, our writer nick was uh was phenomenal throughout the whole process everyone everyone was mm -hmm. we had a we had a great a great very supportive team Writing those bonds, I you know, people I don't think realize how, just how many bonds there are. <laughs> um, I think in English it's it's like a hundred and almost one hundred and fifty thousand words of writing in in Dark Duty. You know, it's like it's like a Lord of the Rings book. Like, <laughs> it's it's a lot. It was a it was a big undertaking for a couple of idiots just out of college, um, but it worked out. For, in a couple of my video essays, I've used the uh, the support conversation of, I don't know whether it's pronounced Faust or Faust. You'd have to correct me on that front. And well, Sophia. Uh, yeah, Faust. 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 And Sophia. Yeah, I've used okay. that. Uh, I've used that support conversation in a couple of my video essays as an example of how games make arguments. I uh, I had a lot of fun writing that. It's uh, <laughs> it's really stupid. <laughs> But that's Faust. Um, Faust was fun. You know, you either love or hate Faust. Is you know, it's just a. Uh, he was the crit machine in my run. I needed him. He's uh he's he's an isekai. I had not heard that term before. Someone called him that. Oh. I didn't know what that was, but that's that's like, that's what he is. Mm -hmm. He's just he's just a walking meme. <laughs> he was an excuse for us to put references in. Every single one of his voice lines is a reference to something. Every single one. <laughs> Um, he was a lot of fun to write. Our our uh, our VA director was not super happy with uh, our line choices for him. <laughs> we originally oh, she 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 convinced me to not, but we had a uh, Omaiwomo Shindaru as one of his uh, <laughs> as one of his crit lines originally. But it was taken out. <laughs> it was taken out. Yes, there were, there were other ones too. There was a, a lot of stuff. Uh, like uh. Maybe this, I don't think it's still in. We had like this isn't even my final form. So it was level up, <laughs> all sorts of stupid shit for him. Jesus. But it was fun. It was fun, I and mean, he's a good time. Mm -hmm. Dark Deity is not a very serious game. Mm -hmm. Probably be like voice lines that'd be really fun to like do as well. <laughs> Which, by the way, if you're ever looking for, looking for future voice actors, I'll be around. But you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> Well, we'll probably next, you know, whatever our next game, if we need voice actors for it, we'll probably do another open audition because that process was, was awesome. It worked out really well. Just to have, uh, we had our VA director put together nameless uh, audition lists mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. um, 
the, that just had the, you know, the just the auditions themselves with no names on them. Because there were some mm -hmm. big names, and it, I think it would have been easy to get starstruck and say, oh, I want I want him to, you know, like yeah. the guy who plays Garrick plays Ravali in Breath of the Wild. You know, like, mm -hmm. if I had seen his name when we were doing the auditions, I would have chosen it. <laughs> <laughs> Realizing that he plays Ravioli, Ravioli, give me the Formioli. Yes, dude. I would have... I, I... <laughs> I, I think I would have been hard pressed to to see that and be like, oh no, let's you know, go with. But but uh, that's why I feel really lucky that we had Molly around to, to mm -hmm. do that process in a in a fair way because she's a she's not just a director, she's a she's a voice actor herself, so mm -hmm. she sort of respects that process. Also, it's one city of yours over here, Antium. Don't mind me as I just spread some uh, some more cowbell. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that's a good religion. Don't like mind that. me. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna come in and see my dreadful empire. That's just these <laughs> four tiny cities right here. That's just chilling. <laughs> I actually have three income per turn right now. It's tragic. <laughs> well, I was like debating about getting rid of like some of my army because it's costing so much. I'm not doing anything with it right now. Now, clearly, you just need to take out some more city states. That's the vibe. I'm thinking about it. Like. Hmm. Something that Civ 6 did uh, better than most of these other games that are like this, because I really liked Humankind, mm -hmm. um, which was a sort of similar game to this. Uh, mm -hmm. But the the sepia map portion when you don't have vision on stuff is so it's so so nice. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's like a fog of war kind of thing. Or... Well, no, what I'm saying is in Civ 6, how, you know, if you don't have current vision on something, but you have seen it before, it turns into, like, a sepia map, like, what a physical mm. map would look like. Mm. I think that this is artsy as hell, how the whole <laughs> thing is, like, a map. I mm. love it. I'm just taking 3,000 years to, uh, freaking click on my forces over here and slowly drag my mouse cursor over one by one to the place I want them to get to in like 20 turns. Just You're because. all good. I, I, I've, uh, to be entirely honest, have uh, given up on building this empire in any successful manner a <laughs> time ago. But I do, I'm gonna be, I, 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 I'm gonna have to dip out pretty soon here because they're, um, got like an hour and a half drive and i told them i'd be there mm. at eight so i've got i think i need to dip out i'm sorry i, I didn't i uh, i thought this was like a this is like an hour two hour and a half adventure yeah it seems like it's uh <laughs> i guess that's civ you think that's not gonna take too long and then it winds up being three thousand years takes, yeah that's i don't know if you ever played this multiplayer with the guys but that's how it goes <laughs> the game if you if you get the game going it's gonna take like five hours to do anything <laughs> Although Civ 6 did improve on that. I mean, Civ 5 used to take centuries to play, man. Mm -hmm. But Civ 5, I, I still think Civ 5 was a better game at the time than Civ 6 is mm -hmm. now. Although, I, you know, Civ 6 is a better game because it's, you know, I'd rather play this. Mm -hmm. But Civ 5 was a, was a masterpiece at the time. But yeah, I mean, also, if you do want, like, because this is going to be a thing that would potentially take 3,000 years, if you did want to, uh, wrap it up not spend the extra time and like finish up the questions and whatnot and like close out this session i'm okay with doing that but okay if you did want I, yeah, to I, like i'm sorry just finish the game properly at like a later point i'm okay with I'm, that yeah as well. down if you want to come back you're gonna come over and just roll over me and that's that's <laughs> fine i'm down too because i i've been a long time since i've played multiplayer so um <laughs> so if you wanted to come back and and finish the game but i figure we may as well do the questions yeah i mean the, like the last the uh yeah b basically the main final question that i have is basically what would you like your game and potentially any future projects you may work on to do for you and what would you like it to do for others um what i you know the thing for me my biggest thing is that i i just from dark dd especially is i wanted to be able to make another game mm -hmm. you know i want okay give me the chance to make another game so that i can prove on that game that i get to make another game um, mm -hmm. For, for me, it's just, uh, you know, I want this to be a career and I want it to do well enough that I'm afforded the opportunity to make another game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and for others, um, it's funny because Dark Deity, uh, I sort of really developed as this is a game that I want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I think that that's, that's an attitude that I think is important in making games, but I mm -hmm. also think uh, in future games, I'll probably spend a little more time 
focusing on what the players want from the, from the from the get go. We listen to the community a lot when we try to, mm -hmm. and like you know, we're actually redoing the map art because um, that was one of the biggest things people didn't like. Um, so we we do listen, uh, but in future games, I want to from the get go um, really really have it be a community driven development process. Mm. Uh, and make sure that every design decision we're making is something that people are going to get enjoyment out of. Because mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's it's there were a lot of mistakes we made during development for Dark Beauty uh, that came from it's it's something that I actually really like because like mm -hmm. Dark Beauty is like my perfect game. Mm -hmm. Not actually, you know, there's there's, <laughs> there's things that change, but for the most part, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I just really like about it um, mm -hmm. that are not not very commonly held in like pleasures in gaming you know mm -hmm. uh that most people just don't like how it's designed that way so uh i'm gonna be trying to strike a more uh middle balance mm -hmm. of uh <laughs> of tempering my own weird video game likes uh and <laughs> under understanding that most people don't enjoy especially strategy rpgs for the same reasons that i do mm -hmm. um, but i you know I, I you know i want to provide a means to experiment and and play a game that lets you mess around and uh be creative with builds and all that that was mm -hmm. what i wanted to do because i think that's something that's going away mm -hmm. um, and things I think are becoming a lot more I, set with love it's, things are becoming more set um and I'll always try and fight against that. So that's that's the biggest thing probably that I that I want. Mm -hmm. Dark DD. Keep on promoting creativity and all kinds of these. Yeah. These options and things that others may like. Then. Yeah, I think so. I think it's sorry. Sorry to cut this short. I I had not <laughs> expected. Uh, <laughs> I I had not expected it to go like into two hours. You know what I mean? Yeah. It. Uh. I guess that's. I guess that's, that's simple, simple. Yeah. <laughs> guess that's what happens. But yeah, down to um, down to continue later if you want. But that's the questions yeah. themselves done anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that that's done regardless. And for and, anyone watching, you know, it's um, I I answer pretty much any questions on stream whenever. So um, if I've said things that make you scratch your head, uh, you can come ask me about it. I will answer. <laughs> Can't promise it'll be satisfactory, but uh, <laughs> go ask him what the true next uh, game is. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you'll you'll know when you'll probably know when the reveal trailer happens. <laughs> Not that that's anytime soon, but I we're we're I doubt that we're going to It's coming be, next week. Doubt that we're going to be uh this Friday talking too much about it until it's well on the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, it's uh glad to be able to chat. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you coming on for this. Of course, yeah. I know. I've been. We've been uh, trying to get this going for a while, so I was glad mm -hmm. to <laughs> glad to iron out a time and get it done. Mm -hmm. Get it all, all figured out. <laughs> I, I if if by whatever trick of fate it isn't able to continue, then I am glad I got to spread at least a little bit more cowbell to uh. I know you're spreading some serious cowbell to Rome. Mm -hmm. But Maybe we I... still follow Final Fantasy fourteen. I'll spread Although, uh, one small more cowbell for <laughs> ending it off just like that all right just a little bit more cowbell i'm i'm actually I'm, oh <laughs> i don't i don't own the leader that i picked oh that's no. why i can't ready up i was like well, where the fuck's the ready up button uh okay one sec um, you just didn't pull out the modern cheat codes your credit card number why, yeah, why, why, why the fuck <laughs> are they in my option menu if i can't use them <laughs> That's so confusing. Just to tempt you. All right. Let's. See. Yeah. Honestly, that is what it is. They, they, they want my sweet, sweet money. The sweet, sweet credit card number. Uh, all right. I'll just, I'll just play Realm. In the past, the credit, the cheat codes used to be the inputs you could put into a game. Nowadays, it's the uh, wacky three digits on the back of that card. It is. I know. <laughs> Come on, kids. Let me see the wacky three digits. 